Okay, so here's the brand new Dyson Hot um, fan, bladeless fan, I guess. Their main thing is that it's supposed to heat the room faster than any other fan, so check it out. Obviously, it's not supposed to have, it's more supposed to be stronger, less dust smell, all of that than a traditional fan, as they're kind of alluding to here in the box. Kind of go over the basic technology with like the propeller in the bottom. It's kind of like a vacuum and sucks it up, throws it out. It's got a remote in there, all that kind of stuff. Again, goes over all the kind of the details of how it's working. If you really want to know more of how it exactly works, you can check it out online. Well, I'm here mostly to discuss how it looks and how it works. So, let's open it up. That was quick. So, here's here's the basic stuff. There's not a lot here. There's some paperwork, registration information. So that's important. Make sure you register because it comes with two years of warranty. So you have your stand here and the remote all kind of package it up. This is the little base that it comes with which is actually pretty small. Here is the remote. It's very tiny. It actually looks like a little Apple remote except for silver and it's curved. And there's a magnet in here that's going to allow it to uh, connect to the top of the fan. Like if you turn it face down, that's why it's curved to match with the curvature of the top of the fan. Anyway, you can push push in the bottom here to eject the battery, which is a standard watch battery you can get. Radio Shack, any place like that. So, not too fancy. All the controls on the remote are also on the base of the fan. So, let's get out of the fan and see how it looks. So here on the cord, there's a gigantic sticker, which is really annoying and frustrating. And it says, do not tear this off, cut it off, anything like that. Which I, of course, immediately did, but if you want to, it's your call. So I've been using this fan a little while now, and I have noticed that the um, it does give a little bit of smell. You know, kind of like the warm smell that they kind of advertise against, but it still does it a bit. like Kind of like the ceramic burning, or not as much as dust burning, but it definitely smells a little tiny, tiny bit. But it does heat the room much faster than any other heater that I've tested for this. So, and I tested three or four, so it actually did a very good job. So as you can see, I got the blue one. It does come in another silver one. I did like the uh, more color to this one, though. So when you first set this up, it's going to have a three-minute calibration period where it kind of just runs and auto temperature and stuff like that. It actually made me sweat while I was waiting for the calibration to finish up. But... I guess that's a good thing that it was able to heat my room and make me sweat in the three minutes that it was testing itself. So as you can see here, it tilts up and down, back and forth, which is not as easy. They say, you know, one finger you touch on the top, one hand on the base, and it should just simply tilt. It does not do that, but it is fairly easy. It just requires a little bit more, you know, movement than they would kind of allude to. So these are all your basic stickers, your buttons, your up and down temperature, your up and down for the speed and strength of the fan, your power button, and your rotate. All the buttons, again, are on the remote, so... If you lose the remote or you don't want to touch this, yeah, you have options. So, we go here on the base, which was not as simple as I thought. We kind of twisting the opposite ways, the arrows. Either way, um, it really is a great fan. You do get, it does get dust on it very quickly on the intakes here on the bottom and on the inside of the fan. So, it just takes a quick wipe to get off. But it does heat the room much faster than any other ones I've tried. The air coming out is not as strong as I would have liked. But, either way, it's about... 400 bucks, so check it out if you like.